This is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your Tuesday afternoon. You might have noticed lots of sunshine to start off your day. Some cool temperatures, but things are ramping up as we get into the rest of your day. We're seeing those temperatures on the rise. We're also seeing some clouds increasing from the west. We saw a nice, beautiful sunrise this morning in our Watkins Glen Sky Camp. Some people out there enjoying Seneca Lake this afternoon. And it's not as choppy as it was yesterday. Actually, I was up at Seneca Lake yesterday, and let me tell you, those waves were hitting the pier like no other. So we have seen those cooler conditions and windy conditions we saw yesterday kind of get out of here. Now we're seeing some warmer weather, some, I would say, pleasant conditions outside with some dry weather as well. Just those clouds kind of increasing from the west and that's due to a warm front that has been moving through the state of Michigan down through the Midwest. I actually have some severe components with it. Are we seeing this head our way? Not really, but we can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm this evening, but you can see right here that it's really just breaking apart as it tries to approach the Pennsylvania, New York, western parts of Pennsylvania in New York this afternoon. But again, can't rule out a shower thunderstorm for this evening, but tomorrow is a completely different story as we are tracking the potential for some strong to severe storms. And you can see it right here, our severe weather outlook for tomorrow. Most of the twin tiers in that marginal risk, so one out of five for severe weather. Parts of Bradford County and Tioga County of Pennsylvania also in a slight risk for some severe weather. So your first warning weather team is prepared to keep their eyes on this system that could contain some gusty winds, some heavy rain that could lead to some localized slash flooding, along with the possibility of some small hail. So let's time it all out for you, starting with this afternoon. So I think we're going to see some partly cloudy skies. Once again, I mentioned a stray shower or so can't be ruled out. Most should remain dry going into this evening tonight. Going overnight, a few more showers might be possible, but mainly dry and we'll start off your Wednesday dry under a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures getting into the upper 60s, low 70s to start off your day. We're going to see the 80s returning on your Wednesday as well. We're still dry around right around lunchtime, but as we get into that 4 p.m. hour, here comes our approaching cold front and this will bring that potential for some strong to severe storms and you can see that indicated by the yellows, oranges and reds on future track. Heads up for Horseheads graduation tomorrow. I know a lot of you are hoping it's outside. I am anticipating a couple more showers to move through during that time, so it may be outside, but you might want to grab that poncho or umbrella as you're heading out the door. We see most of this exiting out of here by Thursday, and we're going to see some cooler conditions behind the cold front, but we can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm as well. So we're at 88 today, dry, pleasant conditions, partly sunny, showers and thunderstorms start Wednesday. Few hang around on Thursday. We're at 86 Wednesday, 79 Thursday, mostly sunny Friday, and we're back to the 80s. We remain in the low to mid 80s this upcoming weekend, but hey, do you have plans? You might be running into some showers and thunderstorms as well going into this weekend. Good news though, we're kicking off early next week with lots of sunshine and temperatures sitting at 77.